Checking on money matters, Walmart wants to bring its everyday low prices to health care, and Facebook has a new war room for the midterm elections. Jane King's joining us now live from the NASDAQ with those stories and more in this morning's Money Matters report. Good morning to you, Jane. So Facebook has a new way now to protect elections. It's been getting a lot of heat yeah. about this. Sure is, and they're hoping it works. You really don't know until we actually go through the elections, but they're basically setting up a war room to prevent meddling in the midterms. Now, the social network says it has <coughs> removed also 1.3 billion fake accounts between October and March. The war room will serve as a center, so Facebook uh, employees will be there. They'll be able to check with fact checkers, weed out misinformation. So where does Mark Cuban is going to donate uh, millions of dollars, like 10 million, to women's causes? What's behind that? Uh, yes, the businessman and the TV personality giving 10 million dollars to women's groups. That's after a probe faulted his Dallas Mavericks, he owns the uh, basketball team, and uh, that there was a long history of sexual harassment there. So the probe found that the team management just kind of let it go on. The investigation found that Cuban knew nothing about the harassment, though. So, Jane, let's switch gears now to Walmart. It's always doing something new, right, it feels like. So now it wants to bring discounts and low prices to health care? Yes, of course, Walmart already, one of the nation's leading pharmacies, but uh, could be looking to provide some more low-cost health services as well. So analysts say that we could see basic medical care, like uh, through a nurse practitioner, physician's assistants, maybe even doctors at Walmart. And the retailer could also offer primary care, nutrition advice, weight counseling, and also chronic disease management. Interesting. <laughs> so uh, visitors yeah. to Universal's theme parks may see virtual reality rides coming pretty soon. They could. Four patents were filed by Universal toward virtual and augmented reality on theme park rides. So, of course, augmented reality, uh, that kind of overlays the real world with the digital world, where virtual reality replaces the real world altogether. These patents range from riders wearing headsets to a device that guests could split control of a vehicle. So, kind of hard to tell where they're going with this by uh, just the drawings for the patent application, but still they're thinking about it, so we can see that. Here's the thing. Sometimes I have difficulty yeah. dealing with reality, let alone <laughs> virtual reality. So, <laughs> no. <laughs> Thanks, Jane. I know. I hear you. Have a good day. Thanks.